city. Don't you dare be sour. Clap for your best of five series host and feel the power. Welcome to a very special New Day themed event where Red's SmackDown Live Women's Championship is on the line in a best of five series. This looks like an arena that was designed by a four-year-old who's been eating too much paste. Stay classy, New Day. It's different, but I kind of like it. I have no doubt that you do. Welcome, everyone, to the best of five series for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship where our team, as you might have noticed, has home field advantage. Do you like what we've done with the place? Ooh, look at the tall fescue ramp, it's amazing. This is the best looking setup for a show since they used to bring Mr. McMahon's home to the In Your House events. Wait, what did you just say? Yeah, yeah, you know how they used Mr. McMahon's home as the old In Your House entrance? My uncle knew a security guard who knew a janitor, who knew a concession stand worker, who worked at one of the arenas and he told him, that it was Vince's actual house. We need to have a talk later. Guys, guys, we could continue to dilly-dally, or we could get things started with the first match. I'm normally a strong proponent of dillying and dallying, but I think we should get to some action. In that case, let's kick things off with our first contest of the evening. You're up, Kofi. We're going to get the best of five series started with Kofi Kingston taking on the bruiser weight, Pete Dunne. I doubt Pete Dunne or any of Becky Lynch's savages have ever competed in an arena like this before. Yeah, only in their worst nightmares. This place looks like New Day's storage unit threw up. And if I have to stare at these bright colors all night long, I might too. This match is huge in the sense that whoever wins will give their team an important 1-0 advantage in the best of five series. Yeah, these series are all about establishing momentum. You want to put... Whoa! Out. Oh, and a dying Hurricane Rana. Another amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. Carefully measured knee drop. Head crank. The power of positivity is fueling Kofi. He can turn it on in a hurry. Tornado oh. DDT. Viking DDT. The bruiserweight Pete Dunne is my kind of superstar. All he wants to do when he gets in the ring is win. His particular method for winning is inflicting as much pain and punishment on his opponents as humanly possible in a good old-fashioned way. Joint manipulation. Well, you and I have very different definitions of old-fashioned, Corey, and you and I have also very different definitions of what we look for in a WWE superstar. You are also just very old. He's in control. What a really great swinging neck breaker. He's looking to do more damage from the ropes here. Perched up top, diving leg drop. He's on his heels a bit now. Things are not looking good for him right now. Oh, again! It's not looking good for him here. He's got to get out of that corner. He's on fire. One, two, yeah, he's got a lot left in him. So resourceful. If I was Kingston, I would not be showboating at this point of the map. Oh, no luck against Dunn there. Too quick. Face Buster plants him. Sustained by Dunn, he could be on his way out. He's totally out of it. Nobody's home upstairs. The Bruiserweight is going to have a tough time punching his way back into this. Two. I don't believe it. He refused. 
refuses to lose. Snapmare. Not safe yet. Kick. Stomping. Ouch. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Powerful contact by Kingston. He's taking it up top. From the top. He leaves out of the way. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Here's the cover for the win. One, two, three. Kofi Kingston with an epic victory. Here is your winner, Kofi Kingston. So it's Kingston walking away victorious. Kofi Kingston so impressive tonight. But Bruiserweight Pete Dunne always has more than one plan. But in the end, none of them work tonight. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. Simply amazing. I'll do my best to help defend the SmackDown Live Women's Championship against Sheamus, which is something I never thought I'd say. It's a strange situation that Brooklyn put us in, but I appreciate the help. At least we're already up 1-0, so we have the advantage. That's right. Undefeated in our house. Whose house? Our house. Come on, whose house? Our house. Whose house? Our house! Yeah, much better. You couldn't just leave Trey and I alone and let us have our success in WWE, could you? Do you really want to do this now? Because if I were you, I'd be doing everything in my power to try to hold on to my championship. That's kind of out of my hands at this point, thanks to you and this ridiculous series. You see ridiculous, but I see innovative. I've broken the mold with everything I've done in my life, so don't expect that to stop now that I'm GM of SmackDown Live. That's right, I said SmackDown. Happy? As match two of the series gets underway, I don't want to lose perspective on just how unique this situation is. We have Big E and Sheamus essentially competing over the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. This is groundbreaking content from our new general manager, Brooklyn Von Braun. And honestly, I'm all for anything that breaks the mold. I think I'm going to have to wait and see how the series plays out before I weigh in, but my initial reaction is this isn't exactly fair for the champion, Red. Well, it's not about being fair, Byron. It's about entertaining the WWE Universe, and that's exactly what this accomplishes. from Big E. Yeah, he's a guy who can turn up the volume whenever he has to. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Big E goes for the big ending. Sheamus counters. Bro kick. This could be it. Sheamus gets the win more importantly. The series is now tied up in a win each. Going down 2-0 would have been a disaster for Becky Lynch and her Savages, but now it's a whole new series. You didn't hear this from me, but Red's getting a little nervous now that the series is tied up. No, she doesn't need to worry, because after my match against Finn, we'll be one win away from taking the series. Then Red can defend her title versus Becky in the ring. You know, how it's usually done. That's good. Hey, this might be a little late, but I had an idea for our team name. The New Trey. New Trey Rocks. New Trey Rocks. New Trey Rocks. What do you think? Uh, I uh, think I heard my music. Uh, gotta run. With the series now tied up in one victory each, this match is pivotal in giving one team a 2-1 lead and putting them a win away from taking both the series and the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I think this is where we start to see the experience and cohesiveness of Becky Lynch's Savages take over. 
Even though these are singles matches, Red and Trey barely know the New Day. And if things start to go south, they could all fall apart. I have to agree with Corey. We know Red and Trey are tight, and certainly the New Day have been teaming for a very long time. But I question the kind of bond the five of them have been able to create in just a few weeks. For the first time tonight, Xavier Woods going to the top rope. Missile drop kick finds its mark. Things not looking great for Finn Balor. He planned for this and could still rally. Ah, uh, he's in a bad spot now. Yeah, he's got to find a way out of that corner. Oh, elbow. I admit this is impressive offense from Woods. He's got a head of steam working and shows no signs of slowing. Man, Xavier Woods, what offense. Finn Balor lands hard. Finn might be hurt. Yeah, it looks like he might have tweaked his knee. Wait a minute. What's Pete Dunne doing out here? Well, maybe he wants to check on his teammate. That's why he's here. And Finn Balor suddenly recovers. He's going to the top. It's all over. Was Finn Balor ever really hurt, or was this just a setup by Becky Lynch and her savages? This is unbelievable. The entire series just turned on that interference. Hey, what was I saying earlier about team cohesiveness? That's exactly how it pays off. And now Becky Lynch has the opportunity to beat Red and win it all. You should have been in a position to win the series against Becky Lynch. I'm sorry I let you down. You didn't. All that matters is we're still alive. Now I just need to beat Becky to even up the series, and then it's up to Trey to close it out. You got this. Then after that, well... You got this. You've got a lot of nerves showing up in our locker room. I'll go wherever the hell I want, especially since I'm about to be the new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. I guarantee I'm gonna beat you and tie the series up. Okay, then what? Because even if you somehow manage that, then your friend Trey's going against my friend Drew in the final match. And we all know my friend's just a little bit tougher than yours. So like I said, one way or another, that championship's coming back where it belongs. If you're so confident, how about we get things started right now? Nah, nah, I need to go warm up first. Don't want to pull a muscle slapping your head off. <laughs> 